Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to reverse the roles. We're not going to give you the graph, and you're supposed to find, yes, the amplitude, the period, the phase angle, and finally, you're supposed to find the equation that belongs to this graph. So, how do we do that? Well, let's try to find the amplitude. You can see the amplitude is from plus 3 to minus 3, so you know the amplitude is equal to 3. The period, all right, now that's different here. Uh, we're trying to find the period. And the period is 2 pi divided by b, or you could look at b is equal to 2 pi divided by the period. And the reason why we want to do both is because we want to find the b to be able to write what the equation looks like. So notice that we have one cycle of the, of the function is equal to 3 pi, so we know that the period is equal to 3 pi, which means that b, the period factor, is equal to 2 pi divided by the period, which is 3 pi, which is equal to 2 thirds. So b equals 2 thirds. And it looks like the function starts at the origin. And so therefore, we don't have a phase angle. It's not shifted to the left or the right. Either if it starts at its maximum value, then it's a cosine function. And if it starts at the origin, it's a sine function. In this case, I think we can write it as a sine function. All right, we're ready to write it now. So y is equal to, we write the amplitude, which is 3. In this case, we're going to write a sine function, sine. And we know that the period factor is 2 thirds, so we'll write 2 thirds over here. And then in this case, we don't have a phase angle, so we don't need the parentheses. We can simply write 2 thirds times x. No phase angle, and there's no shift up or down. So we know that this here is the function we're looking for. And that's how we do that.